Welcome to Technology and Education. Today I'm Richard Smith. And I'm Caroline Crawford. And today Richard has an interesting topic that he wants to discuss about textbooks and the interesting tools and additional um, material. material that the different publishing houses bring forward with the textbooks. The traditional textbook now has many other resources. Yeah, you never recognize a textbook these days uh, from 10, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, a textbook was just that. It Paper was, based It was book. a book. It was a book and that, that was it. It, had, it may have had diagrams Doorstop. in it, picture, pictures in it or anything else, but it was basically a, a book. And now... Now we have digital copies available, integrated videos, PowerPoint resources. I mean, is, really? You're going to take over now? Look. <laughs> Feel free. I mean, you're, you're right. The, the textbook... Uh, textbooks now come with a great deal of material, extra material, most of which is usually online. Instructional resources as right. well as student resources. As, as Caroline said, uh, you will find, uh, you can find videos that are available, you can find uh, actual lessons based on the textbook material available, you can find the entire textbook uh, online, you can get a digital copy of the, of the textbook. All pulled together by the publishing house. Absolutely. So, so you don't have to do any of the work anymore. It's all right there for you. Right. And so therein lies the therein lies conundrum. the problem. The conundrum, yes. Big word. You you'd want to have <laughs> a, a textbook that has a lot of resources, but if you uh, if and if you're doing a face to face class, um, you can use those resources in a face to face uh, setting and uh, you can add your own resources to that enrich the resources that were given for enrichment and if you're using an online textbook in an online class then something interesting happens because some of these textbooks and it's a growing trend contain enough additional information to the text uh, which includes hot links in the text to videos and hot links in the text to other sites that, that, that may, re, may reside uh, on the internet or within the publishing house itself. What about definitions of difficult words? All that sort of stuff is, is, can be in there. So the whole cobweb, uh, web of understanding is already framed for you within these textbooks? Basically, the you have an entire okay. course. The textbook itself becomes an entire online course. And there can be a big temptation to say, yes, I'm going to teach online. And in essence, what you do is you simply order the textbook, integrate that textbook into your course management system. For instance, a course management system uh, such as Blackboard will enable you to do that well, easily. You're not instructing the course anymore, the publishing house. Is. That's it. That's the publish. That's, that's the thing. So you've given up uh, your Subject matter expertise. Expertise in favor of using something that's very, very easy to implement and saves you a ton of time. And the temptation, because to, pre to prepare an online course is, is something which uh, takes a the great deal. of a project. <laughs> yes, it's it. Yes. Uh, it takes a great deal well. of time. It's, it's a behemoth of a project. And you know you've designed a number of courses. I've designed a number of online courses and not to mention I actually like it it's fun yeah well not to mention that once the course is uh, designed you then have to maintain the course which means That's you difficult. have to make certain that the links work you have to update the material on your own so that if you have a textbook where you have a whole squadron of people updating the material for you you no longer have to t touch it and that course the text which is a beautiful gift to yourself right <laughs> no so, matter how hard you try to get everything updated before the semester begins there are so many components that will you'll have hyperlinks that are broken and the videos poof gone and oh my gosh no matter how hard you try there's always those issues yes, so the, the, that is a beautiful gift to give yourself sure. that someone else is dealing with that right issue. and the, the videos poof gone that's that is absolutely a major problem <laughs> <laughs> the poof gone phenomenon <laughs> But, hey, that's a good one. Yes, I know. <laughs> so that uh, so that the next step that happens is a publisher has a a, cor a, a book, a uh, online text for one course, which in essence forms a course. They do it for another course, and then all of a sudden, what is the purpose of the university? If the university is not, or the college, or the high school for that matter, if it's not controlling its own curriculum, if everything is given over to a, a publishing house. I understand the reasoning behind why a publishing house would develop a product in this manner. I absolutely get it. Brilliant on their part. Mm -hmm. As a higher education instructor, 
I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> that bothers me because it's because my subject that's matter right. expertise. Well, I, I, I agree, and I, I don't use that either. I use some resources from, from a textbook publisher, but I certainly do not. Um, but the resources are very good. Some of, I've seen some of the resources. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, well done. Someone who may not be secure in their own instructional style, this is a brilliant thing for them. Well, in essence, if you have a textbook, you know how those you have questions that used to have questions at the end of a chapter for uh, to help the students to learn the material. Yeah, very well, good. I always hated them. Yeah, if all that is online, the textbook itself becomes the course because there are links within the textbook, there are questions within the textbook, there are activities within the textbook. That textbook sits there online as the course. It's ninety to ninety-five percent of the of the course. So it brings. So up what do we need you for? That's right. That's, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what right. What you? It's already done for you. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not at a research... If it's well developed. If you're not at a research university doing um, uh, original research, right, what do we need you for? Everybody could go to the Plain Vanilla University, which is uh, run by the textbook companies, and get, get their degree. Well, get their I'm a little degrees. egocentric to believe that I bring something to the table and frame it a little differently. Well, I think, uh, I here's think the most... Knowledge. Suck it up. <laughs> most 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 um, instructors, either at the high school or any K through twelve, or at the, Be careful, at the college I'm a secondary educator, or, or at the college <laughs> level, are you know that's their intent is to teach uh, really well, and they want to be original and do a lot of things, even though certain uh, things in certain activities and requirements intervene. Silly enough, so, that's still my expectation of instructor. So I'm, what I'm thinking of is, is is that to avoid this problem, what the universities have to do, what the colleges have to do, and even the high schools have to do, uh, is to maintain their own sophisticated instructional design uh, uh, departments that can work with the professors to, des to design courses that are both uh, innovative and effective, and will, and, but that content, that material, and that design belongs to the university and the professor. Otherwise... All the support resources are great, but it is still within the realm of the faculty to engage with the subject matter. Right, they can engage all they want. All those separate support areas, that's lovely, but it's still the faculty member, it's right. still the professor who has a subject matter. But you have, yes, I'm not arguing with that. I'm saying that to avoid, the, text, that in there. To, to avoid the textbook phenomenon. Great support people, it's still right. about the faculty. Yeah, to, to avoid the textbook phenomenon. If you have an instructional design uh, program which designs all that instruction with the professors and does the checking of those links on a, on a semester basis, brings in new material uh, that will work for the course with, along with the professor. It takes out the need to rely solely on those textbooks. Even though it's a brilliant offering, it's a smart move on the part of the textbook companies. Absolutely. And not only is that a smart move, but it's a smart move to end now because we've reached the end of another <laughs> technology and Education Today edition. I'm Richard Smith. And I'm Caroline Crawford. Bye.